Welcome back. In between the parts, I decided to see if I could get myself to level 15. I am so close. I am so close and I've run out of things to do at this point. I just... I can't get that little bit more. So we're going to have to do just a few things around here. So we've got Asta here. If it's not too much trouble. Twitka, you said you're back at the space station. There's something that I can only talk to you about. If it's not too much trouble, could you come over for a chat? I have a bad feeling about this. No, no, it's not anything weird. I just need to discuss something with you in person. Since it's just kind of embarrassing to talk about over messaging. Ooh, purple. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Please hurry. Companion mission. Okay, let's have a look at that then. Off we pop. Over there. Did I just do it again? No. I, I, yeah, I still, I'm still navigating towards it. Okay. I keep accidentally doing that. There you go, a searching. Then you go a running. Searching, running. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> I have ten Her run is adorable. It's just adorable. Anyway. Peppy! Finally! You're here! This is urgent, so I'll cut to the chase. Arlen's disappeared. Oh, yeah. Yes, I can't find him. He's not answering his messages or calls. In all the time since I took him in, this has never happened. Have you checked the surveillance cameras? Of course. I didn't see him. Parts of the surveillance system were destroyed when the Legion invaded. It still hasn't been fully repaired. Maybe he took advantage of a blind spot. Why? It's been 13 hours since he last contacted me. It usually takes less than 13 seconds to reply to my messages. I looked everywhere and couldn't find him, so I checked the security department's work plan records. This is what I found. Look at his last work objectives entry. Of the heart, of the mirror, of the self. It's so strange. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with like the entries for last week are pretty odd too. I want to see them. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those. Oh. I asked people in the security department, but none of them thought it was concerning. They said stuff like, Brother Arlen is a grown man with his own plans. I couldn't get them to listen at all, so I'm asking you for help. Hmm. You don't have any clues how... Can I... Uh... Uh, oh, I have a secret weapon. <laughs> Say hello to... Does, did Peppy always have this little rocket on its back? Because that's adorable. Like, look at it there. He's adorable. Peppy. Hello, Peppy. Mm-hmm. Peppy's my dog. Arlen's looked after him since he was a puppy. They're great friends. Peppy knows Arlen's scent. Uh, maybe he can track him down. Hmm. Then get Peppy to find Arlen? Peppy can't go alone. What if he gets lost too? And I can't go with him. If people see me, the acting lead researcher searching for Arlen. Oh, I see. Wouldn't that, you know, wouldn't that make Arlen look incompetent as head of the security department? Oh yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go together. <laughs> Relax. Peppy doesn't bite. <laughs> He's adorable. An unexpected turn of events. Okay, well, let's see where we're meant to go with that then. Follow Peppy. Hee <laughs> Look at it, little, little hops. Oh, it's adorable. Like, where is he, Peppy? That's Professor Capote? Are you sure Arlen was here, Peppy? Look at the little wagging of the tail. It's all. Ah. Woof. Weird. Why would he visit this Casanova? 
Look at all his fans. Need I say more? Yes. Behold, the winner of the most awesome researcher contest. Mm, it's better if I don't show my face. Uh, see if you can get some intel out of him. Okay. <sighs> I must confess that I too was terrified. Petrified even. But there remained a light in my heart. A light that led me onward. That light was the happy smiles on all your faces. Ah, Master Capote thinks about me! Uh, not in approval. Oh, it's you. Long time no see. How are you? I'm a bit busy here. If it's not urgent, come back later. You ask Capote about Arlen. Arlen? Uh... Yes, I, I know him. After all, my calling is to light up the heart of every person on the space station. As to his current location, and forgive me, but I cannot tell. You cannot in the sense of like you've been told not to, or you cannot because you don't know where he is. Insert dramatic pause and sudden drama here. Indeed. Everyone knows the most important word in my life is principle. Huh? Without principle, what difference would there be between a person and a mechanical arm? Wait a minute. Last time he said the most important word in his life was illumination. It can change. We need to update Master Capote's life wiki. This will be version 12.0 of his life keywords. Oh. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, um, I do not lie. I, I can tell you that I did indeed meet Arlen recently, and I know where he went. Regrettably, I already swore on my life that I, Capote, would never tell anyone Captain Arlen's secret. Hmm. Exaggerate the urgency and importance of the situation. You don't understand what I'm trying to say at all. Crises, disasters, these are just mirages of the material plane. A person's character and the vows of humankind are most precious. They must be protected at all costs. All right, all right. All you see are the minuscule risks of the immediate situation. But did you ever consider that if I, Capote, abandoned my principles, then the hopes and dreams of hundreds of fair ladies would be dashed. I am their lighthouse, and I will never allow myself to be tainted. Oh, Master Capote is so considerate. Oh, dear. I could have read all that. Wow. The cringe is strong. I need to remember what I came here for. Yeah, that's all I was thinking, just... Ugh. Oh. Peppy, help. Seems like you already know what kind of person I am. I'm telling you, quit while you can. Don't waste your time and effort here. You can see that I, too, am quite busy. Spare no effort in praising his character. Seems like you already know what kind of person I am. Captain Arlen had a similar expression to yours when he found me. He was anxious and desired an answer. But answers are not easy to give. Besides, he wanted to master a trial of the heart that would thoroughly change him, and that would be even more difficult. I can't even imagine the difficulty of the trial. I was tired merely from the act of imitating that way of talking with him. <laughs> Thankfully, he... Aha! <laughs> <clears throat> no more. No more. So close. So close. His words match Arlen's work plan records. Seems like he does have key information. You ask Capote about the trial of the heart. I, I, I didn't say that. D did you mishear it? No. And Peppy can back me up here. Right, Peppy? Peppy? 
Well, trust me. <laughs> uh, what, what, what I said was, uh, life is a trial, and you need to be true to yourself. So, I know nothing about anything you said about Captain Arlen. <clears throat> um, I need to head to a meeting now. Uh, can we talk later? No. I can't let him get away like this. If he doesn't want to tell me, then... Hmm. Tempt him with a promotion? T don't, don't joke about that. Uh, uh, promotions have a strict assessment process. I did hear that the space station gives special benefits to morally upstanding researchers, but <laughs> those are just rumors. Even the oldest staff have never witnessed it. Stop looking down on Master Capote! He's not the kind of person you think he is! Are you sure about that? Master Capote's Life Wiki, version 4.0. <clears throat> Master Capote doesn't care about rank. Everyone knows that. Even if you promoted Master Capote to acting lead researcher, he wouldn't tell you about the trial. Uh, in indeed. I, I won't forsake my precious morality for something so base. How could you think up something so terrible? You're not just lost, my friend. You've completely strayed from the narrow path. I need to give you a thorough education on human ethics. We'll need to sit down and go over it slowly. Ugh. No need to bother Master Capote. We'll fix this injustice for you ourselves. You've been surrounded by the Master Capote fan club and listened to a frustratingly long lecture, thus gradually forgetting what you're going to ask. Wow, the cringe is strong. I need to remember what I came here for. I'll cut to the other option right now. Oh, it actually got here quite quickly. It jumped past the previous one and just jumped straight to this one. It's like, huh. So, threat him, him with dismissal from the space station. Dare to utter such a threat? Listen here. Leaving aside the fact that you don't have the right to dismiss me, I wouldn't yield even if lead researcher Asta... No, if Madame Herta herself commanded me. Why not threaten to kill me while you're at it? I've said it once and I'll say it again. I will not yield. <sighs> Master Capote is so courageous. We're so lucky to be his fans. He said the exact same thing when he promised Captain Arlen. Yes, the part about not yielding. It's making me tear up. <laughs> I'm gonna print out the transcript of the conversation as soon as I get back today. The fan club needs to recite and memorize it. A transcript, you say? Transcript? They've recorded Arlen's conversation with Capote? I didn't think a clue like that would suddenly pop up. Just what we need. This is the one who mentioned the transcript just now. Was it? Hey, you've been talking Master Capote's ear off this whole time. Do you want to join the fan club? Ah, I bet you do. You wouldn't have known about Captain Arlen's meeting with Master Capote unless you had an interest. You even memorized the internal testing content for version 12.0 of Master Capote's Life Wiki. You must be one of those super fans that stayed under the radar. Ah, <sighs> we've been careless. We're on the same side after all. Here, this is our latest welcome bundle for new members of the fan club. And I'll toss in an updated version of Master Capote's Life Wiki. Ah, oh, he looks really cool in the new limited edition snapshots. Okay, ooh. All right then. Pass on all the clues you've learned to Asta. All right, let's go have a word with her then. It's you. Thanks for helping on the station. Do you encounter some problems? Uh, we got plenty of clues. Told Asta about what just happened and the clues you found. What happened to you, Arlen? Why did you have to get that sleazy Capote to help you with a trial? Let's look at these materials first. Yeah, I guess that's our starting point. Hmm. So, 
Trial of the heart means knowing how to deal with an overbearing boss. So that's how Arlen sees me. Aw. Maybe it isn't about you. I need to talk to him. Let's hurry up and find him. Peppy, it's your turn again. What? Peppy's still over there. What? Where did Peppy go? Peppy? Peppy? Peppy's down here now, apparently. There's Peppy. Ah. Ah. Where are you taking us, Peppy? Oh, hello. What is down here, then? Dan? That's Dan Hung and the security department staff. There are still remnants of the Antimatter Legion in the space station. Let's go help them! Just a scratch. We'll keep the turbo on. But we won't do auto. Right, so, and obviously when I do unleash, I will show off, um, Hook's skill. Let's make it quick. In normal time. Huh. That'll take more than medicine. Nap time. It's still surrender! Let's do that now, actually. So turn that off and let's have a look. Follow Hook if you wanna win! And we'll put it on you. Boom. Now I'll put it back on. Alright, so, blast. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go. Yeah. Look at Peppy there. What are you doing here? Meep, meep. I'm here to protect a friend's secret. Then be careful. There's still Legion remnants in the area. Arlan isn't here right now, so we need to step up the space station security. Spare no effort and stay focused. Yes, yes Brother, Brother Don Hong. You saw Arlan? Yes, he's with March, but I suggest you don't bother him. He's given himself a personal trial. Ah. Brother Arlen's special trial? He's a man among men, a lion among tigers. He's already reached great heights, but ha, still he wants to improve. That trial, I bet it's even more intense than physical training. And Brother Arlen already challenges himself to the limit in that department. He runs 21,358 meters around the space station every day. An eagle among wolves, always so hard on himself. What kind of trial is it? I think it must have something to do with the mind. He probably found a waterfall and asked Ms. March to lower the temperature to freezing point. <laughs> no way. Brother Arlen's trial wouldn't be as simple as just standing under a waterfall. I think he wants to learn fighting skills from Ms. March. They're not correct, but not wrong either. Arlan came to me to learn how to manage pressure from his boss. So I sent him to March. If he can manage her, then he has nothing to fear. He's a bear among horses. That might be a metaphor too far. How dare you? Brother Arlen runs like a horse and fights like a bear. I think that's a great metaphor. Arlan and I decided to switch our assignments. He went with March to investigate a suspicious crystal and I have taken up his patrol. That's all. Did Arlen leave anything with you? He gave me a pass for access across the space station while on patrol. I found a broken ceiling tile. This mark? It must be from where Brother Arlen smashed it down! Move aside, what kind of clue is that? This floor tile I found is way better. Look at the footprint. It's the right size, not to mention the angle of motion. This is proof of Brother Arlen in combat. Hmm. I don't have any other questions. If you want to find Arlen, just contact March. 
Alright then. Oh, job pressure? How to manage your boss? Arlen, I'm sorry. I never knew I was giving you so much pressure. Calm down. Let's look at the clues first. Hmm. I need to feel the pressure he's feeling so I can understand what it's all about. Hmm. Let's skip the clues for now? Yeah. We need to find Arlen quickly. I need to apologize to him in person. I feel like the reveal later will be funnier that way because it's got to be something funny, right? Peppy? Let's get going. But come on, Peppy. All right. No, I want I want the thing there. Again, I keep doing it accidentally. There we go. So Peppy can locate March just by looking at a photo of her. Is he really using a scent to track? Guess we'll find out. Hmm. I see March over there. Don't see no Arlen though. <gasps> what a cute doggy! Oh, you're here too. Nice of you to acknowledge the canine before me. Hey, he's a new face and you're not. Huh. This little guy looks familiar. Uh, are you Arlen's Peppy? Oh, I'm sorry. Your master isn't here. He's gone off to investigate. Did he mention anything about a trial? He kept harping on about Don Hung being a true warrior or something. Oh, he did say that completing an assignment with me would help him complete the final trial. <laughs> it felt like he learned a lot from me. Then again, everyone has a lot to learn from me. <laughs> Why did you split up? We were investigating suspicious crystals together, but he said it was all pointless if he couldn't transform himself. I could tell he was giving himself a lot of pressure, so I gave him a suggestion. I told him actions speak louder than words when you want to prove yourself. I was just thinking out loud, really. I had no idea what kind of trial he was doing, but when he heard that, he said Mr. Don Hung was right, and then he just left. I took a photo of him. <laughs> he was doing one of those tough guy walks. Come to think of it, maybe I shouldn't have left him alone. Take me with you if you're going after him. Oh, that's good then. Photo of Arlen's back. Oh dear. Track down the suspicious crystal and find Arlen. Is there a quicker way to get there? That's what I want to know. Yes, there is. That way. I read that Astellaron's internal fluctuations will cause a fragmentum to appear. Did Arlen? Hey, relax. I've seen plenty of Stellarons. It'll be fine. I hope Arlen is safe. Wait, can I not destroy that? It looks just... That's that's what the destructible things look like. But okay. Um, map. That's what I'm after. There he is. Uh, Lady Asta, you... Why are you all here? I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like some kind of new entity. It must have mutated after being corroded. Let's get it. Oh, great. A walk in the park. <laughs> Let's throw yours out there. Try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Rules are made to be broken. Nap time. Indeed. Here I come! 
tough luck running into me! <laughs> this is our chance. Yeah! <laughs> Time for me! Boom. My turn. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> it's not going to help as much, but go away. <laughs> Let's go with the heel. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You're a good person! That'll take more than medicine. Just to be sure, yeah. <laughs> Are made to be broken. Boom. Right, so what's going on? I hereby pronounce this expedition a success. Da 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 da. Are you okay, my lady? Or I, Lady Asta? Why are you crying? Are you hurt? I'm sorry. Huh? It's all my fault. I've been putting too much on your plate, and that's why you looked up ways to manage the pressure. I... I honestly didn't realize that, that these things would bring you so much stress. I just... I just want to say I... I'm sorry. My lady, I... You didn't give me any pressure. Arlen, you don't need to hide this from me any longer. She and I know all about the trials you're putting yourself through. If you can't forgive me right now, then... I'll reflect further and, and find a way to prove that I'm willing to change. But... my lady... Firstly, your trial of the heart. You went to Professor Capote and asked him to simulate conversations with you so you could better understand your boss. And the evidence is... It's what? Firstly, your trial of the heart. You went to Professor Capote and asked him to simulate conversations with you so you could better understand your boss. And the evidence is... Uh... I'm gonna go with the wiki. Go with the wiki. Master Capote's Life Wiki version 12.0! This transcript records what you ask Capote to help you with. Here, we can see a bossy manager and you being asked to do things outside of your job description. Clearly, Professor Capote is unlikely to master my speech or mannerisms anytime soon. Oh, but the content is the key here. I am the source of your pressure! Uh, my lady, I did speak to Professor Capote, and I did ask him some things. But they had nothing to do with you. I've never experienced any pressure with you. Oh, Arlen, won't you accept my apology? Listen to him. Huh. I'll just have to show you more evidence. We know the essence of your trial of the heart, and we also know that you asked Dunhung to help you complete the trial of the mirror. I'm so sorry, Arlen. Until I spoke with Dan Hung, I never realized how much pressure was on your shoulders. Miss, I really don't. Uh, hold it. I have evidence. Okay, so. I wanted to, 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 to read them, thank you. Um. Arlen's ID pass, no. Broken ceiling tile, no. Hmm.
We'll go with that. This ceiling tile. This, um, ceiling tile. You, uh, you broke it. Sorry. I'll get it fixed later. I know you can be tough, but you're not violent by nature, Arlen. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Breaking a ceiling tile like this shows how much pressure and anger you were carrying around. Uh, <laughs> this interpretation is sounding a little odd. Do we have any other evidence? No. This footprint! I bought these shoes for you. I remember the size and the design. This is undoubtedly your footprint. But I can tell a lot from the details. Such as, um, you, you used a lot of force. You had a lot of pressure, so you stomped really hard. Really? <laughs> oh, she can't even make things up anymore. You have more evidence, right? I do. Your ID pass! This isn't just any old station pass, is it? Huh? There's a very important photo on it. A photo of Peppy! Lady Asta, I like Peppy a lot, so I, uh... No, no, Arlen. You don't need to find excuses for your actions. Oh. <sighs> Maybe you've actually convinced yourself. The combination of your simulated conversations with Capote and the entry in your work log about playing a hollow disc with Peppy, it points to one thing. Me getting you to look after Peppy is the greatest source of your stress. You, you even printed out a photo of Peppy to constantly remind yourself to look after him. Rip, rip. You've really worked yourself up, but okay. I know exactly what message you're trying to drill into yourself by sticking this photo onto your pass. Arlen, taking Peppy out to play is an assignment from lead researcher Asta. You better throw that hollow disc like it's a full-on discus if you spare any effort. Lady Asta will find out and punish you terribly for all eternity. M my lady... Don't you think that's a long thought to think? Lady Asta, please! I didn't do any of these trials because of you. I always try to complete every assignment you give me, regardless of whether it's within my job description. I really like taking Peppy out to play. Asta, I don't think Arlan is upset with you. But Arlan doesn't have any other bosses. Who else would it be? March, he asked to accompany you so he could learn how to manage his stress, right? What? Arlan wanted to go on assignments just to experience stress? Phew, good thing I let him go alone. My calming influence would have ruined his training. <laughs> Guess I made the right decision after all. Dan was right. What did he say? That I'm good at solving people's problems? We'll go with that, yeah. Oh, Arlen, all I want you to understand is how sincerely I'm reflecting on my actions. Please, accept my apology. But, my lady... Stop! Arlen, I understood the level of stress you're dealing with as soon as I saw this photo. Well, it's the only one we've got, so, you know. Didn't I take that photo? I'm always giving you tasks and assignments, but I never actually see how you take to the battlefield. When I saw this photo, when I saw you fighting alone just now, I'm just sorry that I gave you the stress of all my private affairs on top of an already stressful job. Please, forgive me, Arlen. Uh, my lady, I... I'm very touched, but... I started this trial because of Madame Herta. What? Oh dear. I mean, it makes sense. Whenever she's back on the space station, Madame Herta assigns me things outside the security department remit. Even if I dare to refuse, I wouldn't know how. She's just too overbearing. Whether it's helping her test some new specimen or... 
looking for ancient documents I've never even heard of. Assignments like those were okay before the invasion. But now, I need to focus on clearing out any last traces of the Legion. Aha! So you're trying to learn how to reject Herta and then put it into practice. Yes. I found an anonymous handwritten journal while I was cleaning up. It mentioned 36 different strategies for relieving pressure. That's where I read about the trials. Of the heart of the mirror of the cell. Yes. There were detailed notes, so I wanted to give them a try. Hmm. Did you really think it would help? I'm sorry, my lady. I didn't want to bother anyone, so I didn't mention it. So, you don't feel pressured around me? I've never felt pressured around you, my lady. All right, all right. It's all a misunderstanding. You two should reflect on your actions, right? Hmm, you need to talk to each other more. Yeah. See, the two of us would never have misunderstandings like this. Yeah. Anyways... Dan was right. You keep saying that. What did Don Hung even say? Thank you for helping Lady Asta. And for coming to find me. You're welcome. Although if you really want to thank me, let me play hollow disc with Peppy, please. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Ooh, Arlen has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across Arlen when you return to the Express. Items obtained. <laughs> Pepe! <sighs> Profile picture obtained from finishing the mission at an unexpected turn of events. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Uh, freestyle? There we go, level 15, we got it. Cool. Oh dear, oh dear. Destroy that while we're there. Okay, so, open the character menu to increase character levels. Open the character screen. And you see about ascending. I want to see ascending on myself first at this point. Okay, there we go. Because I imagine eventually we'll actually take you out the group. But for now, you're actually quite good. Unlike the Traveler, you know. Let's ascend you because you're good for us as well. And uh, we'll send you. Ah, I can't. But can I? Where, 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 where? Synthesize. Can I make more cogs? So I want to make them. Let's confirm that. I like that. I do like that. Just thinking like the difference to Genshin and having to farm materials. It's like, ah. Uh, now we've got a way to switch them around. It's nice. We'll get you ascended as well. We've still not got a light cone for you. Have we? Oh, but no, we do now. After the Mera uses their basic attack, the next action will be advanced forward by 12%. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I wanted to ascend you, though. We need four cogs, so let's get a synthesis going. Four cogs is what we're after. Confirm. Synthesize. It's got loads of this, um, tape? What is it? Thief's Instinct. Like, what actually is that, though? Not sure. Right, so let's, um, ascend. What are we on? What? Ah! I keep missing where I am in menus. Like, I, I press to the right here, and then I'm trying to use R1 and L1. It's like, no. Now it's correct. I'll get used to it eventually. Right, so let's actually see about leveling you guys up, starting with you. So you need to ascend now, but you need Equilibrium level 1. Okay. I'm wondering if the... You know, I was mentioning previously it would be nice if they had the... Equilibrium quest, the, like, Ascension quest from Genshin. I'm wondering if this is actually the... What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? The... Simulated um, realities? Do I have any left? I don't. Ooh. Can I synthesize them? No. 
Well, now we know. Now we know. So it's like, ra rather than... I mean, Genshin could have added the ability to switch the materials, for all I know at this point, thinking about it. So like I've not done any of the farming for a while, so maybe it has got that. But it will be a case of, like, that's not going to always be a thing, I imagine. Because you could previously, like, level up the actual equipment you got, like like the base version, then the second version, then the third version of the items needed to do ascension and stuff. But that doesn't seem to be what's happening here yet. I don't know. We're only part way through that, so I'm not entirely sure yet. Not entirely sure yet. Right, so travel log. Let's see what we've got here. Trailblazing will. Cool. That's what we want. Uh, messages. The got the guide. We'll claim that. Thank you. So, we can get a few more of these things soon. We can ascend one now. Surely, let's, let's see about ascending you. Send it. There we go. And auto add, level up. Cool, we need equilibrium level one, we do. We do. Get that though. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. A lot of things we can do now. Characters. What do we got on the details? Like, what's... Oh! We got the Ascension Rewards! Of course! Of course! That's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay. So it's very much like... Ah, no! Keep doing that. Um. Go there, get that one. So let's see about then, now, we get that as well while we're here. Going over to the store. Get you, we're so close to getting another one really. Do I have anything so I can get that? I need eight more of them, okay. Right, so, warp. Because now we do have 16 here, so. Let's see how we do. Hup, hup, that's a perps. That's a perps. Oh. 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 Hello. Lovely. How'd you do? What's your name? Planetary Rendezvous. Okay, so what are you? Not sure I know what that symbol is. We'll find out at some point. Right, let's do another one. Hurt, hurt. It's another perps. Come on. Hello, Dingyun. Dingyun. Cool. None of those characters yet, though, so I imagine we'll get it on my next one, though. But... That's actually where we're going to end this part here, then. And in between the parts, I may actually see about getting these guys ascended and stuff. So I could actually... Although I've got no level up materials, have I? Yeah, we're out. Hmm. Although I can get you sorted, though. Like, may as well. May as well. And then we can get his... Ascension reward. Like, try and build those up quickly, because then we'll have it. Then we'll have it. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. But, yeah, that's where we're done for this part, and we'll see you in the next part, then. Ta-ta. For now.